Hey, how you doing this morning? You know what time it is? That is right. It is time for seven minutes in the morning. Joe knew that because Joe is here already. Good morning to you, sir. Hey, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Joe did. Drop a comment right down there in the comments. Say hello. That'll show up here. I'll know that you're here. If you like what you hear, give it a thumbs up. And I will get a sip of coffee. And I would encourage you, always have your coffee when you come to the show. Um, just makes it all that much better. And if you happen to be listening elsewhere other than on Facebook, um, do yourself a favor, come to 7minutesinthemorning.com and join in the conversation uh, that we have going on here. All right, so this week, let me put that up there. This week we're going to talk about uh, is your business running you? We've got a great set of topics lined up for this week. This is actually going to be a pretty jam-packed week. I've got uh, I've got this coming up. Oh, I was going to look that up for you guys. I have this coming up. I've got uh, two webinars planned for this week uh, that some of you may have gotten an email about. If you haven't gotten the email, then uh, <laughs> then uh, then it's either on the way or I'll put a link down in the comments before I go. Let me get back over here because that's really dragging. All right. So uh, first question. So what I want to work through this week is as we go through the shows is how to tell whether your business is running you. A couple of questions that you can ask to see if the business is running you. So today, first question, and it's kind of a two-part question. I have more than four or five questions. <laughs> so I had to combine some of them up. But here we go. Are you experiencing the whipsaw effect? Now, the whipsaw effect is that thing where Oh my gosh, I got no customers. Market, market, market. I get a bunch of customers. Oh my gosh, now I got to do work, 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 work. And while you're work, work, working, you're not getting new customers. So those run out. Now, oh my gosh, now I got to market, 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 market. And you're always being whipsawed back and forth. Right? Another way that that might manifest itself is it feels like you don't have time for anything. That, that you're always behind. You're always behind schedule. You're always running to try and get the next thing done. Both of those things kind of work together. Well, you know, people call it different things. I call it whipsaw. We're being whipsawed between um, sales, marketing, and delivery. Um, or it just manifests as you never have any time. Both of those are key indicators that the business might be running you. Yeah, so, well, so Kristen says that's a weird word, but yes, I am that description. I think we've all experienced that at some times, especially, especially as you're getting the business started and, and it's like super small <laughs> and you're wearing more than one hat. It, it happens to everybody. We, we get focused on doing this one particular thing and then we look up and it's like, holy crap, this needs to be done. And then we get focused on that and holy crap, that needs to be done. And you're just um, going back and forth between all these things. And whipsaw actually is a technical term. It comes from lumberjacking. Have you ever seen those, uh, the, the like the, what do they call them? I guess this could happen on a single box saw too, but the saw is where there's two people on either side and they're going back and forth. If you just let one end go, it'll begin to resonate and whip back and forth like that. That's called whipsaw. And you can't pull it through the kerf when you're doing that either which is an important analogy here, right? If you got a big saw, you're let's you're you're trying to cut through the market, right, and get to revenue, and the end of your saw is just whipping back and forth like this, it's going all over the place and you can't pull it through the curve, you can't make that cut. You you're not going to make any progress. Um so hey, good morning Jessica and George. Good morning and George. Somehow you're on the live show, so Catch you. He's catching the early version of the replay. All right, so 
the, the important thing here, and this is what I want you to take away from our time today, the important thing is to recognize this. Okay, all of the questions that we're going to go through this week, and and I'll give you a quick tease for next week. Next week is all about fixing these problems. This week, I want you, to, I want to help you identify the issues because it might manifest in a couple of different ways. If you can figure out the one or two or three that are really causing you problems, then we can get into how to resolve them. Okay. But before you can do that, you first have to recognize, and look, one of the things we're going to talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the things we're going to talk about a lot next week is honesty. Mm. I, I didn't give the steel-toed boots warning today. If you're not honest with yourself and what's really going on, that doesn't change what's really going on. You know, there's this principle that the truth is the truth whether you acknowledge it or not. The, the the sky is blue, whether I call it purple or not. What what I think about it might color uh, my interpretation of it, my perception of it, but it doesn't change what's really true. All right. So if you're not honest with yourself about what's going on in the business, what you're doing, running the business, right? then we can't fix any of those issues. I had this conversation with our youngest daughter yesterday and and how to deal with um, people and how things, you know, some things that are going on for her. And I said, look, if the two of you can't talk and at least agree on the facts, then there's nothing to talk about beyond that. Because the only thing that lies beyond the facts are your feelings and perceptions about the facts. Okay. So if you can't agree, if you can't acknowledge, recognize and acknowledge that here's a fact, I'm experiencing whipsaw in this business. I have no time. I have no time to work on what I need to work on. I have no time for myself. I've got no time for friends and family. I've got no time for weekends and holidays. If you can't acknowledge that, I mean, maybe it's not a problem for you, but if it is and you're just ignoring it, then we can't fix it. Okay. So I guess I'm not even going to wait till next week to talk about honesty. Honesty becomes a big deal this week too, all right? So today, your homework for today is to, as you go through the day, honestly assess whether you are experiencing whips or not. You're getting whipped back and forth from one task to another, and it feels like someone else is, you know, pulling the saw, and you're just being whipped back and forth trying to get things done. Or, and or, the other way this might manifest is that you just have no time. You get to the end of the day and you feel like you, you, you still feel as though you didn't get anything done because you ran out of time. If either one of those are problems for you, then the chances that the business is running you is high. Now, I did say that I will put a link, and I will do this, I'll put a link to the webinar, uh, webinars, plural, uh, in the comments, I'll, I'll, I'll try to make it easy, but I'll, I'll put it down there. So keep an eye on that. If you've left a comment on this uh, video, then Facebook will do its job and let you know when I put the link in there. They're coming up Tuesday night and Thursday morning, and the webinars are about our topic this week is the business running you. All right, that's it for today. Remember, throughout the day today, are you being whipsawed? You run out of time, and uh, be honest with yourself. That's all I got for you today. You guys have a fantastic Monday. I'll be back again tomorrow with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Take care. Oh, look, you're still here. Um, okay, well, if you're hanging around, then it's because you want this link. So hang on. I'll grab it for you. This is the link for Tuesday night.
Okay, there it is. And I'll drop the one for Thursday in there tomorrow. All right, now I'm really shutting it off. You guys have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.